if you've been having acne hormone problems right when you were 14 where it all starts for a lot of people you accumulate a lot of garbage in the clean body it needs a little bit of food right now when i'm i can easily fast or live on like liquid diet i'm amazed how little our body needs to feed the cell we don't have to have a ton of fruits and vegetables eating um, and I really believe our body's transitioning right now. A lot of people um, don't understand what's going on with them. Everybody's scared about their libido, which is another another topic. Like you don't have to have sex three times a week. This is the crazy idea. I don't know who created it. <laughs> you know, it can be once a month if it's that your libido, and nothing wrong with that. Women need to understand there is not, and men too nothing wrong with that you can have amazing sex once a month and this is totally normal this is okay you don't need to boost you don't need to go do crazy things nothing is wrong with you it's absolutely normal what is not normal is knowing that you have endometriosis polyps and stuff like this and somebody told you you have to have sex twice a week and you go and sleep with your husband when you don't want to do that and doing it against your body and this is the biggest no no this is how endometriosis a part of it how it's born this is how you're not protecting your own boundaries yes i agree about sex absolutely who said we're supposed to have it three times a week Shit. who created this stupid stuff and why do we believe in it why you know once a month like this is my body I have amazing sex, for example, once a month with the candles and bath and massages and stuff. And that's totally okay. Who said healthy libido is three times a day? Whoever created this wanted to have a program about libido or they think something wrong with them and somebody else created this meat about three times a week and now everybody and it's like one big train, like two times a week is healthy. Said who? Okay, I'm not even gonna go on there. Whenever we let all of this shit, <laughs> I'm getting hot again, to get in our energy field, we create this uncertainty. We create this fear that something is wrong with us. And that's how we create physical parasites, literally. Then our body is taking this pain from us, not confident, from thinking like something is wrong with us, including spiritually. And it's like, it, it's a big mess. So, to finally finding physical health, spiritual health, and um, psychological health is just decide, okay, all right, all right, there's a lot of info. Why don't I take what I really like and what resonates with me, like truly resonates, like I want to test this theory. Take it in and create your own way. Like take it like, okay, I like Alyssa's theory on stuff. Why don't I try her way for a little while? If I, do, if I absolutely hate something, I don't agree, I'm not going to do it. And when we're talking about our hormones, it's very important to connect to the body. Stop feeding these bacteria. They find it in the brain. They find it in our ovaries. Uh, they infiltrate the liver, the pancreas. It is essential to start eliminating these bacteria, parasites, fungus, like we talk about. And when our fluids get cleansed, our organs get cleansed, our cells get cleansed, you will see how cyst shrinks, how endometriosis goes away, how the symptoms go away, how everything just gets in their own place. And that's called epigenetics, how the blood flow, the energy, of your body connecting to your body really appreciate don't 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 give it to be abused to your husband if you don't feel like it to uh, your trainer in the gym if you don't like it <laughs> to whatever to yourself the pushing it yes you have to push yourself a little bit with a diet because what is you are whatever you eat you become that it's absolutely the truth and a lot of times the bacteria, when it gets hungry and they need a ton of food, they are very little, but they need a ton of food. <laughs> this is not your body that have these cravings. The body needs a little, they need a lot. 
they need a lot of food. They crave, uh, they crave a lot of um, food, different type of food, because they don't eat everything. Instead, like they're smarter than us. They don't eat everything that's on their plate. They're very selective. Certain type of bacteria, for example, like strep, that is responsible for estrogen dominance, they affect, they manipulate our hormones. They manipulate our hormones. They manipulate our neurotransmitters through chemicals. They directly, through the nervous system, connect it to our brain, and they ask the brain to start the simulation of certain hormones, like the women who have PC PMS and they want to eat more. Like all of a sudden, everything, you are all good during the day and all of a sudden at night, you have these unstoppable cravings. You want something. Do you notice that? That usually happens by the end of the day, you know? And they just start the activities. They affect your neurotransmitters. They can make you sad. They can make you want to have bigger libido because what do they want? They want you to eat and have sex so they could infiltrate another human being <laughs> and continue their journey. But it's all, but I don't want you to just look at one thing and think like, okay, we have an enemy now. We have to go and push through and just freaking kill these bacteria and parasites. I've been on that route. You can get stuck with this thing for a long time. There are people that get stuck with this thing. There are people who spend their whole life and they're good. They create a lot of tools that we are using right now. But this is their life, fighting bacteria parasites their whole life. And they spend their life on this and they love it. This is not me. I spent 10 years on this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired of this stuff too. Because if you don't, what we're going to do, update what in here and what's in your heart. You've been fighting. We're going to be fighting our hormones, bacteria and parasites our whole life. Some of you make it your career like I did. And in 10 years, you're going to be shit. It's just unstoppable. It's going to like, if you, you do one thing, there's something else come up and it, it can be a pretty big journey. And there are people who love it and enjoy it. Like, yeah. And I chose this approach that I'm going to share with you the more we go. And it's good. It's good to come to idea that you need to change something in your life because this fight with the bacterial parasites will bring you to the higher levels of understanding that it's all it's it all works together. And the the like the end goal is connect to your body and connect to your soul and connect to your mind and becoming the creator, becoming someone who built their life, who stopped fighting. The idea is, and I want to surround myself with people who understand, hey, I'm tired of the old persona I created. I'm tired of the old parasites or bacteria or whoever like damaging my body. I'm tired of the old shit. I'm tired of the old people around me. I'm tired of the old clients. Sometimes I'm tired of the old husband. Sorry if my going to hear that. <laughs> You're not one of them. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> But but that takes place. And a lot of times these bacteria, the parasites and the things, they create the persona that creates the husband. I always telling you, right? The husband is a reflection of you. You change, I promise you. You change, you become this wholesome person. Don't give a shit about changing other people. And the people around them start reflecting new you. You don't need to change other people. You can't. We cannot. We, we can't. We can't change the old clients. We have to drop them. I'm sorry. We have to drop the old mama sometimes. Like, you can love her. Like, you should love every other person on earth. Like, love them. But you don't have to deal with that shit. You can say to your mom, bye, mom. I'll see you next week. I believe in you. You're so cool. You can deal with your own problems. You're so strong. I believe in you. Bye-bye. You know, mom, I have my own life like i know how to deal with my children or clients like i've been dealing with you long enough but sorry this is my new way do you like it no okay goodbye this is totally normal to say goodbye to people and you will see some of them are gonna say who finally she let me go they're gonna be like that you're sitting here thinking like oh they're gonna suffer without me no you're gonna they're gonna 
doing just fine as long as you're not going to put in your thoughts in their head so now we're going to do it smart way we're not going to fight it we're just going to let go of the old stuff people bacteria parasites fungus clients husbands sometimes kids and I know you can drop the two years old ones, but if they are 18, it's time, it's time, you know, stop, stop worrying about that too. And they all gonna breathe. Like leave everybody alone. Here's where we start. And when when you start with your body, all of a sudden you start noticing that the world around you changes and everything is okay with the world. Everything is okay with the world when everything is okay with you. All of a sudden you start seeing new people the old one's going to be gone the new one's going to come in but give it a little bit of time enjoy the process okay think about right now for your hormones like I, I i'm telling you it's essential it's essential to get rid of parasites bacteria yeast and i give you the tools a lot of the um what what, what i've seen a lot of the things from from the store like this part like paragon or like this parasitic complex or this antibacterial complex it is not enough these herbs in them are not developed the proper way sometimes it's just the small doses what i really found was really changing for me it's like i buy these herbs and i shared it with you right in in a next level gut health i grind it myself and I make the liquid because the liquid it gets in your bloodstream, it gets in your um, in your lymph, and literally take a teaspoon of these grinded herbs, and I um, I shared them with you in that video, and I take it morning and night, and then it goes through your intestine, and then it gets it gets absorbed by intestinal walls, it gets absorbed by the uh, liver, it gets absorbed by the pancreas. And that way you eliminate them. Sometimes it's so easy. Sometimes you just clean it and it's interchangeable. When you remove the parasites from your life, we just talked about them. You, 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 your health all of a sudden get better. And when you clean your intestines, all of a sudden you start seeing how to, you know, your character start changing. Sometimes it's that way. And I invite you to do both. Sometimes all of a sudden you remove you like you cleanse your small intestine, you start having constipation, you find the life is easier than you thought. You can get rid of people easier, you know. You can all of a sudden when you don't have this constipation, you like tell people, F off finally after 10 years. You know, when you backed up like this, you backed up in your life, you're in the corner, you think life is hard. So this part that the bacteria, they'll literally create illusions in your life. So what do you eat when you have illusions, when you're miserable, when you have a depression, when you don't know what to do with your life anymore? You eat. You eat crap. You want to eat more crap. And you want to sleep in your room. And you want to close all of the like your uh, curtains. You want to keep your room all nice and dark. And you eat and you watch the movies and you feel life is miserable and blah, blah. Or you just go to work you hate, thinking like there is no other way. Okay, so what is the smart way how, how we do it? We do it from both ends, with your mind and with your body. And with the body, I give you the tools. And sometimes don't be afraid to talk to me and increase the doses sometimes. And it's a pulsation, okay? You must let your body rest. So if you do it for four days, you rest on the weekend. If you do it for seven weeks, and, and your body should know. Your body will know. You do it for seven days, take one day, rest, um, one week rest. The pulsation. Sometimes repeat something. Sometimes repeat the fast. And when you start this, it's your journey. When I, when how you feed the cell, then you we go to the feeding the cell, not the parasite. It is the raw food. It is fruits and vegetables, and it's one of the ways to get. Right now, I live on powders and liquid. And I never felt better. Right now, I understood whatever I was doing to fight my own body. My body doesn't like a lot of fiber. And it hates it. And it's normal. What I realized, our body wants us to eat less. So all of these people who tell you, you need to eat lots of fiber. For me, for a lot of my clients, 
or like I work one on some one on one with people, we don't need that much food. We don't need sometimes the variety. The body, if it cleans, if we don't feed all kind of things in it, and you know what we got. Um, when I look at a lot of practitioners, when I look at the doctors, and I realize like how crazy ideas are. They think we need a lot of bacteria. There is a ton, the whole industry of probiotics that our body doesn't need. Probiotics can be so dangerous, like literally. The idea of switching from the bad bacteria, it's like gangs of New York, right? Bad gangs of different species of bacteria. And they're saying, here's lactobacillus. This is the good bacteria, like rhamniosis. Good. We need to grow more of them. They're going to overpower these. Yes. Yes. It's better us to have more of a beneficial bacteria. But they steal parasites. I want you to understand. They steal parasites and they still care about themselves. They still eat first. And a lot of these bacteria, and you know from a SIBO, I, I studied this a lot. I've been in, on, on a big journey. They tell you, the people tell you, any type of beneficial bacteria make our symptoms worse. And a lot of people, what do they do? They go to the, they go to the store where industry told them, you need probiotics, you need probiotics. They buy this from the shelf. And they colonize themselves with all kind of stuff. And this large intestine become like, wild wild west and what the bacteria do now they're colonizing the small intestine and if i were and they create lots of toxicity they paralyze the liver they paralyze the brain create a lot of gas methane sulfate they paralyze our body literally they work through muscles and of course our endocrine organs don't work what kind of hormones we're going to talk about when they manipulate the hormones when the, the body is garbage out what kind of hormones that we're going to talk about and then people get on this route where they say well the body is crazy immune system is going crazy how how crazy the idea is that our body is becoming all of a sudden crazy immune system start attacking itself because it's confused what kind of nonsense is that body is not crazy body is not attacking your immune system is not going crazy Okay, your immune system attacking the parasites, the one cell parasites, the bacteria that infiltrating liver, brain, thyroid, pancreas, ovaries, with dripping pus from the nose, from the mouth. And it's becoming normal for women to have the discharge, for women to have painful, painful ovaries. If you press on your tummy, it hurts somewhere. This is not normal. This is pus. And then all of a sudden we, we wake up with a white tongue, with the like, you know, all kind of stuff coming out of your nose. You know, I got to really awesome time in my health, you know, where I didn't have the aches and where I held my hormones going right, my hair, my um, my skin was looking amazing. Everybody was saying, what do you do with your skin? And then I um, did the um, did the iodine protocol, right? And then I started like, what? What if I experiment more? And I tripled and quadrupled the dose that I give you, right? And all of a sudden, my whole face got covered in acne. My skin was perfect. Everything started coming out. And through the time, and I was doing bacopa, I was doing a lot of things. And I'm going to share with you again, experiment with you so you don't have to with myself. <laughs> And I tripled this dose again, and I tripled vitamin C and, uh, you know, I did the niacin, everything that I shared with you, I just did a um, really big doses and everything started coming out. And in the morning, like chunks of pus started coming out from my nose, from my mouth. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, we're going to the gym with my husband in the morning. And, you know, I, I, I have an energy now, right? We wake up at six o'clock, five. And he's like, what's wrong with you, lady? You don't, you don't look like yourself. <laughs> but this is all of this. It's like really solid chunks coming out. Then I start flushing everything. I use the, I use the oil pooling, the coconut oil. I use the coconut I bought on Amazon, coconut oil mouth rinse, like silver. And I start like putting the salt, you know, the nasal spray in my nose to help it, to help it, to help it. And I start what I share with you, right? The lymphatic, 
every all the tools that I'm doing with you, I start pressing really hard in my tummy. And I was in a really tip top shape, I thought, right? Until I really, really quadrupled the iodine. Then I started researching iodine even more than I researched. And I found like potassium, magnesium, the minerals that we need, soils, you know, the vegetables, the fruits, we don't get them. And the only bacteria, we don't need a ton of bacteria. Yes, we need some of beneficial bacteria, just a little bit. We don't need to feed them. We don't need to work for them. You know, we don't need all of this fiber to feed these bacteria. And all of a sudden, I have this clear brain, my third eye is open. <laughs> I, started, I, I started hearing like uh, angel music. I'm just kidding, but it's kind of like that. All of a sudden, I know exactly what to do. All of a sudden, or I see how to say no to people and how to say yes to people. I see all of a sudden that my energy quadrupled. I see how patient I am becoming with people, you know? And all of a sudden, like a lot of more start coming out. And all of a sudden, I look so much better and I like myself so much more. The things that are still living in the cell, and I, I found that iodine, people have miraculous healings with iodine. Their hormones, their ovaries start working, their pancreas start working, cell opening up, the calcification goes away. Iodine, vitamin K, a vitamin E, the uh, niacin, like, the things that I'm sharing with you. But sometimes what my story was about, don't be scared of taking it as a project. Sometimes use a little less as you, you if, if, if you sensitive and you pixie dust lady, how I call it, you just need a little bit. Sometimes you need more liquid. Sometimes you need more powders. Sometimes you need to quadruple the dose and see how it goes. And you know, big secret. If you, from whatever you hear from other people or from me, if you experiment with yourself, if you really start connecting with your body, give it the physical stuff from the tools I'm sharing with you, you start noticing that it's okay. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. I didn't die from iodine. I discovered that there is a new level of health exist. And it's amazing. And you can, you can do this and you can see how your body is responding. But at the same time, the same time, you need to see what you eat. The best way to feed yourself is raw food. And you don't come with this, like you don't have to, you don't have to like all of a sudden drop everything, go and becoming raw vegan, no. And you don't have to eat a ton of food, but sometimes have the days where you can be like I'm saying those videos and I share the smoothies with you. Have the liquid day. Have the smoothie day. Don't put a lot of fibers in it. Don't put a lot of thing in it. I gave you the example of some smoothies, but I literally right now leave eating avocado, cucumber, um, sprouts are really, really good for hormones. Buckwheat sprouts. You're getting green buckwheat. You sprout it a little bit and you add it to your smoothie make yourself a little green smoothie. That's what I do. First time I eat at three o'clock to three o'clock and then at six, that's it. Tons of energy, amazing things. And I start my iodine in the morning, <laughs> you know, and I, and I just drink liquids. I drink the tea that I'm sharing with you, keto tea until two, but this is my way. And I came to it. Do not just, just, drop into, into eating like me, for example, right? That's why, that's why you have other recipes. It has to be gradually, but have some days when you let your body to literally breathe through and detox and to build itself, to build new, fresh selves. And when you remove the parasites from your environment, when you decide that you deserve the best, that your body deserves the best, that you're not going to betray yourself for clients, for husbands, for mom and dad, for all of this, that you are the creator, that, that your story, your beautiful story of your health, of your cells health, of your body health, of your brain health, of your hormones health starts here and now with every decision you make today of not sleeping with your husband just because crazy person has you have to said you have to do it twice a week. What am I doing here and now to respect my soul, respect my body, 
respect my wishes, respect my desires, you know? Even even the tools to remove parasites, they still keep, like we, we're gonna be fighting them for a long time. If you do fight the parasites, you need to create the environment, environment where you don't create the new ones. And it's gonna be like this. You need to take yourself out of the old way this person was living to a new one. All of a sudden the parasites go away. All of a sudden the cell open up. All of a sudden, everything that we together doing on a physical way will go a lot smoother and faster. It's going to be beautiful we're going to do together, okay? Every moment, your money, your future, your relationship, your health, it is always born today. There is only today that we're living. Tomorrow, only created with our thoughts. It's a timeline created with our thoughts. Ask yourself a question. Why did I want to do this? And don't look for answers. You can't find the answers. It was the old persona who created it. Don't betray yourself. Find what you want to do today. And you don't have to be mean about it, you know? What we need to do, we need to love ourselves. 